What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video where last time we worked on this monstrosity of a building for the sole purpose to make heavy modular frames. But that is because we need to make fuel generators and we made the heavy modular frames and now it's time for computers. And we're going to be using the alternate Caterian computer, which requires circuit boards, quick wire, and rubber. And to make the circuit boards, we're going to be using the alternate silicon circuit board, which requires copper sheets and silica. And this is where these quartz nodes are going to come into place, the ones we've already been utilizing for the sole purpose of designing windows and adding to some design work to the building. So here, we're going to make quartz crystals and silica. We're then going to transport it along this line next to the coal, and then for it to enter our building via this entrance right here, and then place our manufacturers and assemblers up here where we've already established a tiny little factory making some more complex uh, items. But we're also going to need rubber for our computers as well. And we're going to transport it from this building over to the starter factory by building this. Yep, and all of that was built with the new Blueprint Maker. But we will get to this in a little bit. <laughs> and yes, you can do some crazy stuff with it. So yeah, remember, if you're enjoying the video, remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. So the first thing we're going to crack on with today is the quartz. I kind of want to get a little bit of a structure going here uh, and get the quartz crystals made and the silica. So first of all, we need to kind of get rid of all of this because we don't need this anymore. We do not need any of this and then we can just kind of cut this back and then i want to start placing the miners down oh we got a bit of a floating quartz so let's get our miner down we are going to go with the mark two miners so i do need to handcraft some goddamn uh poison miners but he knew i forgot what he was then really you can stop shooting at me because now i can go here advanced game features creatures and I make you passive or retaliate. Boom. Now stop shooting at me. <laughs> Wizardry. <laughs> okay, so now I've got the miners down. We've got two more two miners, which we're going to bring together. Sending out 270, which are going to go into some constructors, uh, which if you look here at the recipes, the quartz crystal is 37.5. Um, and what we're going to do is if we do... Uh, 270 uh, divided by 32.5 is 8.3 machines. But then if we actually overclock the last machine to 220%, that will need 82.5. And then if we do 32.5 times by 5 machines, right? And then plus 82.5 wait what did i do wrong here did i do the math 37.5 bits jesus 37.5 times by 5 plus 82.5 is 270 there we go jesus and then for the silica it's 22.5 per minute outputting 37.5 so if we do wait what was the number again i totally forgot 22.5 22.5 times by 12 is 270 but if we bring that down to uh six machines we'll just overclock it by 200 percent and then we'll have the same number and then we've got six machines on the left six machines on the right jesus it's too early in the morning to do this so we're just going to go on the center line right here and then we're just going to place six constructors on this side wait i need to push that back by one bring that like right there and then just bring this up by six so, bam, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to do it on this side as well. Two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to set all this side to silica. So, I'm going to just copy and paste that and then just paste that all the way, flood it along here. Then we need to do this with the quartz. So, we're just going to grab the quartz crystals and then copy and paste. Bam, 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 and bam. 
And then we just need to do the splitters on the inside, and then we're just going to do the mergers on the outside. But I'll come back to you once I've done the splitters. <laughs> I'm tongue twisting myself. Gobble, gobble. Okay, so as you know, I've got six constructors down on this side. So on the merging side, it's going to be a little bit different because the silica is 75 on output on each. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge three of these together, and that's going to be 225 silica on each line. So for every three machines, we're just going to do a merger coming off, uh, and then we're going to create two lines of silica and one line of quartz. And I don't actually know how many quartz I'm going to be making per minute. So if we get five, five, five times 22, 22.5... Uh, which is 112.5 and then 112.5 plus 49. I can't type today. 112.5 plus 49.5 is going to be 162 quartz crystals. Okay. 162 quartz crystals and 225 silica per minute. And then I need to attach it to that, well, that bus line we've got over there. So there we go. We can now see the silica and the quartz are making its way to the factory with the numbers that we did stay earlier. Uh, and it looks pretty decent. This bus line is getting bigger and bigger as well. Um, so it's going to look cool eventually. But for those that don't know, uh, and I'm sorry to say, but this building might get removed in later episodes. Because... I have a little bit of a plan. And for those that know me, I like to build my Titan builds. And the Titan builds are pretty extravagant. Basically, all of the ore in the desert will get utilized at some point throughout the series. And that does mean all of this building here will go. So that is why from now on, you're going to see some very unfinished stuff happening around this building. Um, especially when it comes to design work. Because we have a kind of a plan. Okay, so I have come to the conclusion I am going to put these two here, which is the assembler and the manufacturer. And inside the assembly, as you can see, I've overclocked this to 210% because the silica that we're bringing in is being consumed at 57.75 per minute. And also the copper sheet, which I've just kind of brought these up via this lift right here. And the copper sheets are just being branched off from that line right there. And the silica is just being brought up from, well, what we've just brought in. Um, and then... It's making 26.25 circuit boards. And if we look at the manufacturer for the actual computer itself, the circuit boards need 26.25. And then we just need 105 quick wire and 45 rubber. The quick wire, however, is actually underneath here because this is where we built all that quick wire before. And this line right here is going towards the storage. So I'll put a smart splitter here to actually divert... 105 well technically be 120 um to come along here but i do actually need to put the lifts in that would actually help bits right put the lifts in first so i can see where i'm bloody going right so let's quickly put down some conveyor hole lifts like this bada bing bada boom uh we actually don't need three items in here so we're just going to put down uh 26 so mark one to you mark one to you i always do this some people ask why do you not just put like mark threes on everything it doesn't really matter honestly does it really matter um so yeah that's now set up we can now just bring in this lift so i want to put you down here because you're a mark two and then i'm going to put you two to mark ones like that and then i want to bring this criterium to the middle line which is going to come there uh, one, two, and then turn you into that one. And then, this is the output for the circuit boards. We're just going to do the same for this, but with a Mark 1. Technically, I need a Mark 1 lift. And then there's... Yeah, I, one thing as well. I was going to push this video out a lot earlier. The only problem was, because I'm on the experimental build, there's been a an abundance and a, a large, large amount of bugs on uh, epi uh, Update 7, which was like... Uh, lifts not working, frame rate drops due to belts. So when I was putting like belts down like this, and you see the the, the hologram that's showing right now, you used to, you, we used to go down to like 10 to 20 FPS. Um, so it was crazy. But one thing I am super happy they have finally, finally, finally fixed after so long is convey holes. 
So if we look at the conveyor holes now, and we were to put three of these down, wherever I aim this and place this now, the next one will aim in that direction. It's always been annoying because one thing that will happen, it will, it will always face that way, then you got to rotate. And then you go to this one, and it will always face that way, then you got to rotate it again. So now they have finally fixed it. So praise the almighty ones. So now that we've got that going into there, we've got the two items going in, we just need to bring the rubber. And the rubber, as you know, is over in that building right there. So if we just look over the edge of this building right here, we can see we've started to lay down the foundations to what we actually need to do. So I've kind of done the curves. And if you don't know how to do these curves, please go and check out my tips and tricks 2 video, which come out like a couple of months ago. Uh, I do explain how we do these uh, and... You know, because I don't want to be kind of repeating myself in every single one of these videos on how we do these. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, I've kind of started working on this and taking it down to the actual build itself. Because I do want to bring trucks up here. And I think editing bits... Uh, editing bits? Editing bits would have already showed you a teaser for what we're going to be building here. And it's going to be straight with blueprints as well. I guess, because update 7 brought out blueprints. So I've kind of already put down a truck stop right there. Um, and if we just take a little walk down here, I'm just trying at the minute to kind of line it up into that central gap and then get it onto the same level where I do want to bring the stuff out. So once I've done that, I'll be back with you and I'll show you and explain what we're going to do next. And there we go. Bada bin, bada boom. The plastic and the rubber uh, and diluted package fuel are coming out from the underneath. As you know, they're all in storage containers. I've literally just put an elevator down going all the way through here. And I've made this little kind of bridge coming from there where we can just get them into this truck stop. Um, the trucks uh, are going to be going up and down these ramps. Um, so what we want to kind of do now is I've just kind of been observing the power to see where we're currently at. And we're at, Well, we're only making... Um, 5,700 uh, 5, megawatts. And if we turn everything on, it's consuming 9,490 megawatts. So the whole um, plant that we built last episode, that is currently turned off. So we can kind of get this up and running and the other building up and running as well. Um, and if I do want to turn the heavy modular frames on, I'm going to turn this one off um, to actually cope with the power on that. But our power problems will be solved in the next episode so we don't have to worry about that so the next thing i want to put down our glorious truck right here and we want to jump inside of this actually i want to kind of put give him some fuel first right and uh, let's throw some fuel in there uh, and let's go into this so we want to start a new recording but we don't want to do that just yet um so i'm just going to kind of wing this around here and i'm going to get ready for him to basically don't fall down there don't fall down there okay we're good um, so he doesn't come down here a little bit too crazy and fall off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the recording and we're just going to go. So I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to pull up here. I'm going to hit F and then wait for that bar to fill up at the bottom. Actually, no, we're going to wait for this animation to complete here. I don't want to wait for that full bar at the, at the bottom. And then once we've done that, we're just going to set off. And then we can start seeing that the truck is now pooping arrows. And there is a finish line right there, which is our destination when we come back. So I just need to kind of take this over to the next truck stop, which is at the base over here. Okay, here we go. Now I just need to mind it, kind of make sure that we bring this in a little smoothly. Because trucks, they have a mind of their own and they go a little crazy. So we're just going to park up here. Hit the F key again. Wait for the animation to finish. Then once that's done, we're going to set off. Like, most, most people kind of wait until the bar is finished filling up. You don't really need to do that. You can kind of wait till the animation's done and then we can go. So I'm just going to do a U-turn here and then head back towards the finish line. <laughs> I've got to be careful going down here because he's going to jump, isn't he? He's going <laughs> to... Yep, he's leaping. I've got to be careful because when, when I'm driving it, it's fine. But when the AI is driving it, it's a little different. And then I've got to slow down here. Make sure we put that in there and the path is recording. So now... What I want to do is I want to start the recording. I want to hide the path nodes. And then I want to hit Q and then press E. And now you... Wait. Wait. Why are you not moving? <laughs> Q. Save. Wait. Oh, no. Did it... God damn it. 
I removed that whole entire thing, didn't I? I clicked start record. Bloody hell. I'm a spoon. I'm a bloody spoon. Okay, there we go. Now I've set up the trucks to do the pathing. That was a whole pain in the ass. Wow. God damn, I love the lighting in this game. Oh my God. Especially the new sky as well. It's so nice. So now the trucks will actually come in and do the thing. It's because the way I saved it when I was expl explaining it is the old truck. It the AI for this is he he's a donkey. Like, I literally got him to stop right here, just like I showed you guys. But no, this guy wants to hug the goddamn machine. Are you going to leave? Hello? Uh-oh. Um, Nanobots activate. Nanobots? What are you doing? Okay, there you go. Also, also, are you waiting for me to move? There you go. Be on your way. But also, I added a second one to the truck. So we now have two. We have two. <laughs> is he going to crush into this one as well? He is, isn't he? He is. He has. Um, I'm leaving him. They can do whatever they want for now because they're... Ex you know, we're not, we don't need to fully efficient... Well, make this fully efficient. You know, so... So let's talk about the central column because... I want, I want to basically something, I was telling the Twitch chat, I was like, I want something that's going to be multifunctional. I want pipes to be on there. I want zip lines to be on there. I want trains to be, a, be able to get on there. I want hyper tubes on there, slash hyper cannon, kind of. And then I also want uh, belts to be on there and all that kind of stuff. So I was coming up with some designs, and I come up with this kind of thing. Uh, and this is just for a pillar support. Um, so we do have access to, like the pipes here and then we've just kind of created this accent with the orange beams very much similar to what i did on the industrial like um uh, legs of the bloody frames building um and we've added some lights up here so initially if we just think about this is where the trucks are going to be and they're going to be driving along here but not going near bean and then up here is where my rail lines are going to go it's starting to rain as well. Um, and this is where my rail lines are going to go. And as you know, belts and all that kind of stuff connect along a seven meter foundation, well, seven meter foundation, a seven foundation uh, stretch. So if I was to go down here and then I was to put like a conveyor pole just there, right? This will actually, uh oh, he's in the way. Um, if I was to take a. A conveyor belt this should reach so one two three four five six seven this will reach seven foundations in length just like that you see so that's seven foundations right there from where it starts and that's the maximum length of belts and it's the same like that for the other stuff as well so we want to make sure when we do this we put one of these down and then we need to make a new blueprint that's going to fill in so the gaps so what i'm thinking about doing is be, we have got like added lights here and these kind of like bolloids and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna kind of double everything so if we kind of just get like place this here and make this a three and then we make this side oh remove that one and then we make this side a three and just kind of duplicate everything to where it is but this time, we're actually going to remove the legs. We're going to remove the legs. We're going to remove this. And then we're going to bring this one. Wait, what's going on there? Wait, have they fixed it? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. Have I built this blueprint before they fixed it? So no <gasps> Oh my god, they have. Right, so just for, just for, just so you guys know, I built this before a certain fix come out with a blueprint machine, which means my design is one of a kind. <laughs> because it can't be blueprinting again, and it, I guess it means it can't be editing. So I'm get, I guess I need to kind of skip ahead here and show you a pre-built one that I've done, with, which is what I was about to build, because... 
apparently we can't put these in here now because it's overlapping the clearance which is the base of this foundation so we are now special <laughs> right so this is what i was talking about so i've loaded it up here so if we go inside my blueprint machine you can see wait you can see uh blueprints here highway over road right and then we've got the highway over road times three so this right here is the over road times three and then the the one with the pillar is the actual support so what we need to do is we need to do something like this right so you put down the support which is a blueprint and then you put your three one and then your three one and then you do another support on the end and this is this is what i was saying so this right here can't be attached so this right here is a unique design and yes you will be able to download this blueprint if you are a channel member of the youtube uh, and i'll post that in the uh, community section under the channel members and in the discord channel member section and then a week from now i'll release that to everybody else where you can then go and download it in the discord in the blueprint section um so i'm going to show you how these blueprints work so let's kind of go up here um and i'll kind of show you and i want to kind of give you a bit of a rundown of how they're gonna what, what's involved with them as well so we're going to start from over here and i guess we can kind of just go from here right so this right here and i want to show, and show you how we're going to do it with the turns as well um so this right here is a straight part so are we on a straight part bean are we on a straight yeah this bit is a straight part here yeah i'm gonna probably gonna get run over but uh let's go to blueprints and we want the highway support right highway support which is this one this one right here and we're just gonna place that literally in the middle of this foundation like this so this front bit touches the end of this foundation like that and now that we've got that one bean i need you to move pretty please and then if we go into blueprints and got highway over road times three, we can see this one. And what we want to do now is we just want to place this one and connect it to this one. Just like that, I think. There is a snapping feature, I know, but there was one problem with it and I don't know if they fixed it. I don't want to waste some time. <gasps> He's okay. Oh my god, that was lethal! Bean! Are you in pain? Are you in pain? Right, get off, get off this road. There's another one coming. Move! Move! Jesus, he's gone to the opposite side now. Oh no. I think he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. At least honk next time! Bloody hell. Right, as I was saying, let's put this one down just there. And now that connects up to that one. That connects up. Bada bing, bada bosh. And then we just grab another one. And let's just kind of snap this one here like that. And as you can see, that is now, you know, working. So we've got... This one here, this is a six space gap. So what we need to do next is actually put down a, uh, oh, what's it called one? A, where is it? A highway support one. So the highway support will go there, which will allow us for our pipes to actually come across here at the perfect distance. And they'll all connect up just like that. And it's the same with the belts. And if you've, so these, these cables right here, so this cable and this cable is for zip lining, but then the main power cable is right there. That's the, this is where the power will uh, go across. It depends if you depends on what you want kind of want to do, but that's how I'm going to do it. So this one right is going to be for power, and this is where the belts come in as well. So like I said before, there's seven seven uh, foundations across will actually connect, and then we can put that down there. I'm not going to connect any form of belts up just yet though because I don't know which direction we are going to be utilizing these. And that's why I did not add them within the blueprint as well, because I don't want to place these foundation, these, well, these supports down and this down here without knowing the direction of where the belts are going to be going. 
and I don't want to kind of do that. I, I think I, I think for me as a player, we'll just rather place the belts down when I need or require them. But now that we've got this, let me show you how we do this bit of the turn. So if we just go down into our blueprints and we're just going to want highway supports. And we just want to place these down exactly in the middle. You will see overlap on the left hand side right now, but we just want to place one there. And then we go to this middle foundation. We line that up there. We go to this one, line that up there and so on and so forth. And we just do this all the way around the corner and save ourselves so much time. And then we'll come back to the straight right here. And then we go on and do what we do. And then we just grab ourselves the next blueprint, which is the three over the road. We can just hold control here. Let's go with a snapping for now. And then let's just remove this one because this is the kind of design I was going to go with at first. And then we just put down another one. Bada bing, bada bosh. And then yes, as you guessed it, we put down another support. Just like that. And we've just built all that within the space of, what, 30 seconds of me starting this whole car. Oh, hello, friend. Um, but yeah, you can see we've got the hyper tube at the top as well. All these lights are set to a orange, uh, which is kind of like a warm light I've set it to, um, as you can see right here. Um, and yeah, we've got some the lights, the hyper cannon, uh, the hyper tube engines. I've not connected them up as well because, again, we don't know the direction. How did you get up here? We don't know the direction where we're going to be taking the hyper tube, and it is only one direction. Um, not the band, the actual <laughs> where, it, where it's going to be going. Um, I was going to do bi directional and put two hyper tubes up there, so for one for one way, one for, for the other, but I'm more than likely just going to sit on the train on the top anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's how we kind of did the highway. And now I just need to kind of finish this all the way along here. So there we go. I've now connected all of these up. Obviously, the pipes are bi-directional, so it doesn't matter which direction they're going. Uh, well, doesn't matter if they're placed, sorry, uh, because the water will all depend on which direction it's flowing. Um, the belts, like I said, I have not connected up. Let me turn a torch on for you here. And the reason I've left it nighttime right now is because it looks pretty nice at nighttime. I, I was going to use the asphalt flooring as well. But I decided to kind of stay with the coated concrete. It kind of creates the nice reflection, especially with these lights and all that kind of stuff. And when the trucks are coming along here uh, and all that stuff as well. Uh, I've not done any form of support as of yet because what I want to do is I want you guys to show me your supports that you have built or anything. And I want to include one of your guys' blueprints. So... What I want it to be, I want it to be very simple, clean, matching this. And I want you to go and build me a support uh, and place it in the blueprint section in Discord. And I would uh, go through them and check them all out, post an image with them and the file. And then I will show you which one I've selected in the next episode. Um, and I want to feature one of your guys' supports. So I'll try to keep it matching with this. Uh, and go ahead, go a little bit crazy with your creative kind of builds. And so, yeah, get posting and I will choose one for the next one. Oh, by the way, if you don't know how to find the Discord, check the links in the description. Come over there and, yeah, post your images in the section. Make sure you choose your roles as well, because uh, I see I do see people entering and going, wait, I can only see one room. Uh, make sure you go to choose my role room and make sure you select satisfactory and my section and all that kind of stuff if you want to see notifications and all of that. But this right here... Hypertube is a little bit fun because I've made it into a cannon, kind of, but we're having these type of issues right here. So what I'm having to do is I'm actually removing this, removing that, and then I'm bringing this all the way up here, um, onto here, When it, if it'll allow me. Don't snap. No, to be honest, I actually have been snapping it, haven't I? Yes, I have. So now if we go back again, and we try this. We get faster and faster each time. But I'm just kind of working out the kinks right now on where I'm trying, like, I keep flying out. Oh, like there. And I have died a couple of times, especially on the live stream while I'm trying to do this. And what I figured out, especially when it comes to these corners, if I don't put this entrance here <laughs> super close... Oh, I didn't want to get sucked into there, but oh well. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see how it's going to work. And obviously, oh, I might actually leave that like that. No, I won't. But that's how it's going to work and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, and for the whole ramp kind of things, all I'm going to do, I do have to build this manually. And I'm just putting down the ramps like this. And then just grabbing these, grabbing myself a nice little uh, steel beam like this. Uh, place that there. Bring this, uh, make sure you set to free form. Uh, once that's done, place that there. Place that on the edge. Remove the beam and then place that there just like that. And then just zoop this all the way down on an angle. And for those people wondering how I get the railings on an angle as well, it's very simple. You just grab yourself a foundation on the top like this. Grab the same ramp that is going down originally. Connect it to this foundation. Uh, like, actually, no, I need to bring this on a different angle. So let me just put that there like this. And I want to snap the downward ramp to that position right there. So you can see the foundation is coming halfway through this. And all we do is just zoop that down there like that. Grab myself a modern railing and don't aim at this, aim at the foundation. And you can see it's now connected to the actual uh, pillar. And we just remove these foundations here and you can see it's on there now. So yeah, make sure you take it up by one here and then bring this ramp foundation down and make sure that the edge of the foundation is halfway through the ramp to create these ramp diagonals. I did this in a to tips and the tricks video, but it's not been explained in a while because I did it last year. So yeah, I need to remove this as well. <laughs> But there we go, the main objective is now completed. The rubber has been sent up to this manufacturer and we can see we are now making 3.75 computers per minute and that's going and being stored into there. But also, if you look at the hotbar right now, if I press Alt on the mouse wheel, you can see I've added the blueprints of the highway to the actual uh, hotbar. So I've got the pillar and then I've got a one space, so without the pillar, just like that. And then I've got the three. So there's three blueprints. And like I said, if you want these and put them into yours, um, all you need to be is a channel membership. So click the little join button on YouTube if you want it now. Or if you want to wait a week, um, it will be in the Discord in my section under blueprints. So make sure you're in Discord for that. Uh, if you want to utilize them in your build or just break them down so you can see how they actually work themselves. But yeah, this was a little bit of a different video compared to what I am normally do because... One, it's a little bit slower pace, a bit more explained um, because I wanted to kind of go over the blueprints a little bit more. And you can see that I have fixed the hyper cannon here as well. The hyper tube, I should say. And that takes me all the way down here and down the ramp. And, well, I thought it was going to be finished, but I guess I chose the wrong save to load. <laughs> but anyway, that is now done. We are all fine and dandy. We have got trucks set up. We've got the start of the highway being done, which will be a global highway. We've got the quartz and silica moving. And yes, we have computers. Which does mean in the next episode, we can get this building fully operational by adding some fuel plants and getting all the residue being consumed. And we're going to be heading over to this location to consume these oil nodes to make a large fuel plant. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and check out my recent videos right here or my other content, as I should say. And uh, as always, keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.